hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this short video in today's video I'm going to be discussing a number of day trading tips and ideas we're going to be looking at the CL futures contract today and specifically the 233 tick chart as we get underway we do need to bring up the disclaimer understanding the risk if you're new to my channel please pause the video and read the disclaimer and if you're a current member of the day traders fast track program and you haven't reviewed the disclaimer for some time do the same please much appreciated now everything I'm about to show you is explained in the day traders fast track program in either our live webinars that we run each week for our members or in our training materials and if you go to my website at imadaytrader.com you can request my free ebook for truth about day trading and one of my free training manuals even better still become one of my members for $197 you get my top 12 day trading and swing trading strategies easy to learn step-by-step -step instructions over 60 hours of online video instruction full email support plus over 20 hours of recorded live training sessions and of course you can always come and join me in my training room but let's get enough of the commercials I should say let's get straight to the charts now in this particular chart as I mentioned we're looking at the CL futures contract at the 233 and by the way I like to use a anchor chart of 610 tick and 233 tick as my main trading chart but a couple of things I really wanted to point out today that I think is really helpful for traders first of all uh, we're looking at uh, this is at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard we're looking at the CL open but I wanted to show you a pattern that appears on virtually every market and every time frame on a regular basis and you'll see that it appeared twice within a number of hours in today's um, on today's um, CL action and that is the ascending and descending triangle but before I explain this there is one thing I want to show you which I think is really important many of my members know that I love trading divergence I'm good at it I've been doing it a long time and I really enjoy it and we can see here a little comment I put live on the chart here look at um, big picture divergence on the AC so on the anchor chart we had really obvious um, divergence and I've got here a little comment look at the Renko chart so this is a comment for me and I want to show you why so what we've got here is between this point here which was at approximately 842 in the morning and 902 just after market open it's not really obvious here but we have a double bottom we call this a t7 a double bottom or a double top is called a t7 and you can see up here you had one from um, uh, the long side but we have a double bottom on the short side so quite so obvious if you look at the anchor chart it's a lot more obvious you have divergence there on on our what we call our platinum MACD but I want to show you what it looks like on the Renko so just remember this formation right here now what we're looking at here is a four brick Renko so uh, Renko of course is totally different to tick charts so each candle or brick is the same size as you can see here and between there and there is that big picture area so I have the Renko chart running on a separate monitor than my main trading chart and the reason I do it it removes a lot of the noise that you see on a normal chart yet at the same time I like to see what's happening with the candles on my tick charts etc there are many other reasons why I use tick charts but to give you a really good view uh, look how beautiful divergence appears to be on uh, on Renko you can see we had a lovely divergence entry here we had a lovely divergence entry we had our uh, what we call that 200 B we had our 34 another 34 34 34 34 uh, what we call the t19 on this divergence we had a t9 but uh, the point is here though on Renko there are a really clean looking chart and there are some great ways of trading Renko so I just wanted to bring that up that that double bottom or divergence trades on Renko charts are going to be very very clean indeed so let's go back to to our uh, standard tick chart so that was that period between there and here 
now this is what I specifically I just wanted to bring that up but here's what I wanted to specifically show you was what we call an ascending triangle now on the sending or descending triangle what I'm about to show you has a very very high probability win ratio and when you use the tactic I'm about to show you your first target will be 50% of the projection I would recommend and if you're after a higher target you'd go for the hundred percent so maybe if you're trading two contracts one off at 50% and one off at 100% of a target and it's very very easy to do now what is specifically good about what I'm going to show you with this ascending triangle is we're doing it or it's bouncing price action is bouncing off one of the pivots so this is one of our floor pivots this red dashed line so we can see price action uh, rallies up we get what we call a PB it's a 200 B and a pivot bounce price action comes down then travels up and comes back down again goes up and comes back down and by this time you can draw a, a trend line and what you can actually see happening here and if you extend it you can see there that you're getting a triangle now with an ascending triangle the general rule is that you'll break to the upside so here we come up we bounced on the pivot again and we come down and we formed a lower low just here so you redraw the trend line and project it forward so it intersects here with this horizontal line so you can see there basically it's like a spring it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter ready for the breakout and we actually had a bit of a breakout here so remember you've drawn it and you extend it through to your horizontal line and so you can very see very clearly you've got this triangle formation we had a bit of a breakout then it comes back down bounces off this projection and away it goes so how are we going to project where this potential move may go so what we're going to do is we're going to take it from this high to the low so we're going to take this projection and we're going to project it from anywhere that can be anywhere on this horizontal line so in this one I've just drawn it straight up here projected it to the right and here is where price action should come very close to hitting and so what I recommend is you consider if you're um, uh, trading two contracts maybe taking half off at 50% and letting your other contract you've gone to break even and maybe even trailing and of course you can trail just under the trigger line so maybe trailing uh, until you hit this line or of course you can keep trailing if the market keeps going up so this is an ascending triangle so if one breaks like this draw a second one you want it to intersect with this horizontal line so let me show you the next one so what I'm showing you here is what we call a descending triangle now an ascending triangle is uh, bullish and a descending triangle is bearish so what we can actually see here is price section coming down uh, we come up we have two points at intersect so we can then project our trend line and remembering you're usually perhaps just starting to recognize that you've got this at about this point here now what makes this one very interesting and a lot easier to trade again and it's a little hard to see it's a bit hidden here is that we have a 200 B once again and a pivot bounce so one of our trade setups is called a 200 B now by the way this comment I've got here not tradable uh, this really flew up uh, this spiked up very very quickly this was actually what we call a 200 B again and a pivot bounce but when I said it's not tradable it moved that quickly and that's one thing with your back testing and checking out uh, previous price action you just need to check sometimes a timestamp so this moved very very quickly otherwise we would have marked this up as a trade so what you actually do you take the highest point once again uh, so we take the high to the low which is at the pivot and we're going to project this and we're going to project this and once again you can apply this projection anywhere so you can see here at this stage we had two points so we had a lower high you project forward to the intersection of the horizontal so you can see we projected forward on the way down you had a t9 trade a 34b another 34b and here you had a 200b so we've come down so let me show you what happened so remember this is a bearish signal so price action then 
broke the pivot we come back up we bounced off it so it was a 34b off the trend line and off the pivot and there's a move down and just let me show you there once again so that projection from this point to this point is this point to this point so we simply take that area to that area and you can just draw a simple uh, a trend line and you can just drag that down and that will do that for you and we then project it and finally we broke down we had a number of bounces on the way through in many ways it's a little as we know for an example like pivots pivots particularly when you go from the floor pivot to s1 very high probability from s1 to s2 a high probability so as you drop down further the probabilities drop but always keep this in mind and always be checking where is the pivot so the red dash line that's your s1 and there's your s2 so we can see here back to this let me just move it along for you we gave our projection we project right this is where we believe price action will come down consider taking profit at about 50% and your other contract or contracts off at 100% or of course if the market is running you may choose to then trail your stop all the way down so you see these sorts of uh, patterns uh, or opportunities in the market every single day so get used to as you trade drawing in trend lines and you'll be amazed what you start to see the patterns that you start to see that are forming likewise when we see channels and uh, my members uh, you'll see me draw channels in on a regular basis now the ideal channels to trade are where you've got a 45% degree angle and remember what we say we say you sell the highs and you buy the lows of a channel you sell the highs you buy the lows and there are channels that you'll see in the market every day on all time frames but remember on your lower time frame uh, um, charts you'll have a lot lot more what we call noise so I like to draw my channels for highs and lows preferably on my anchor chart and we can see here that uh, we had some great trade opportunities here with the 34b 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 all the way down so this is a, a quick rundown so specifically specifically let me get this out right um, get used to drawing your trend lines and give yourself time study various uh, charting packages uh, packages chart patterns and you'll see them in the market every day and just perhaps just one more thing I want to show you here and that is the V just why I see that there if you if you like divergence trading uh, one thing be looking for the V's the very best divergence trades are where you have price action rally up get a nice pullback and what did we get there we had a 34b of course price action takes off again so we've got our high high and then it comes off and of course we've got divergence on our platinum but just remember to look for the V yes you had a, uh, a small V there okay not great but the higher we go and remember that with many of these trades even if it fails you've got to be in on the second one because it becomes a lot more higher probability in that particular case so look I'll wrap this video up uh, traders but I think you get the general idea that there are some great uh, opportunities for trading triangles in the market on all time frames and all markets every day so and just finally uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do traders uh, please go to my website to request my free ebook for truth about day trading and I have a training manual that you can also request absolutely free better still become a member of our community thank you very much